<coughs> oh, I got the crazy actions from Rocky. So, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Today, we're feeling a little under the weather. Thank you, British Museum. <coughs> Yeah, it was Rocky's idea to go when there's like 600 billion people. I had a great time. Which, you know what? Not his fault. It's the people that were sick that went. Those are the people I blame. There you go. I tried to keep my distance. I ran <laughs> to empty spaces. I'm glad I saw the Rosetta Stone. Anyway, today, we're looking at the Castle Arts 48 Premium Pastel Tint Pencils. And uh, they're nothing new. They've been around for quite a while. At least a year. Probably too. I don't know, but they're new to me. So I am excited. I did open them. I have not actually colored anything with them. The big question I had was like, are they going to be similar to Prismacolors or they're, are they going to be different? They're pretty close in my book, but when it comes to pastels, it's a little harder because you can't like really pack in saturated pigments. So, you know, they always have like a light lay down, but I really like them from mm. what I, the whole like thing that I've done. Why can't I open it? Oh, we're going to be coloring one of Camilla Derrico's Pop manga pictures from... Well, that's the back. This book, Pop Manga Coloring Book. Sorry, let me get it in frame. There you go. That's the one. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, so it was... What? Okay. There you go. It was my bad. I was trying to open it up here, but it's on a hinge, y'all. It's been hinged. You're unhinged. So I'm trying to get rid of these two. I have so many colored pencil tins that I'm just like, I don't need them. And I was like, maybe I'll use them for watercolor tins, but I'm not going to. So they're going to go in recycling. Jenna says, hi, guys. And Trisha says, I love the British Museum, but the National History Museum is better. You need to go there next. Yeah, as soon as I get better. Campbell was like, I'm never going to a museum again. I, I just, I, well, I don't like museums really at all. Like, if I go to a museum, there's like one or two things that I literally want to see. And I don't care about anything else. I just want to get out of there. Enough about me and my hate of museums <laughs> <laughs> anyway so it comes with a little booklet yay look there's all sorts of things to do in here i didn't do any of these things it is kind of cool though that they do have some printouts like these that you can print out online to do your own little uh color testing on uh join the club blue 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 blah color guide i think they have a system where yeah so like their colored pencils is like number like i don't know 48 and then like this color will also be like in their acrylics and it'll also be like in their watercolors it's not all over all of them like you know you don't have every color in every medium but they do carry over the colors as much as they can you're and really explaining it do you get what i'm saying i was not paying attention because i was reading a um, text from my stepdad sorry okay so like you have the color green in this colored pencil Got right it. They can have the exact same color in acrylics okay, they'll have the okay. exact same color in watercolors but not for every color like you may have like a green acrylic and a green watercolor. Who understands me, darling? But then you might Who'd have like <laughs> five variations of whatever. It comes with some stuff. Look at it. All if the you art people understand. And this has like little pinchy things, or you can use the string Excuse things. Me. It's got stringies. Pull this out, which is supposed to make it easier, but it doesn't for me. Anyway, oh, look at those beautiful colors. And I'm gonna rip these out because it's gonna go. So the pencils were in there, I'm assuming. They were in there, and I didn't like the way they organized them. Because that's who I am. I like this, but I'm not going to do anything with it. Ooh, I can make like a little pocket in a sketchbook. Will I? No. It's trash. It's trash. Recycling. Well, I don't know if that can be recycled. Oh, trash. It's got foil and it. it's a weird paper, but <clears throat> this is recycling. Empty tin. All right. It comes with this swatch card, which I have so watched. Pretty. And uh, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what they're... Like method was? Yeah, I don't know <laughs> why they lay it out the way they do. It goes down this way for whatever reason. But like, I like my rainbows. It makes it real easy to find the colors that I enjoy. So I did my own. <laughs> Rose says, darn, I missed some. They were supposed to notify me. Uh, well, I was also really late at uh, the whole like advertising on Facebook. Like I did it maybe 10 minutes ago. <clears throat> Kimball's a great advertiser. I think she might have missed a few other lives probably. Uh well, I almost fell asleep on the couch about... Or maybe some of this episode. A few minutes ago. Anyway, so I did my own swatching, did some little blending tests, and this is just like regular printer paper. It's nothing special. So, oh, get off my book. Nobody wants you anymore. You're recycling. Um, putting this aside... Well, actually, I'm going to keep it nearby, but now I have this, which 
Yeah, I got it from Timu. Don't come at me, okay? <laughs> Shut up. It was super cheap. Well, I mean, super cheap as these things go. It's just a pencil case. Uh, so I put my colors in here the way that I like them. Was it based on the actual swatches? Uh, yes. I had to go through my swatches. Okay, well, I had a scrap piece of paper, and I would put down all the colors, and then I would, like, find out this one's a little more blue, this one's a little more green, so I could get it as precise as possible. Got it. Will it stay this precise forever? Probably not. It sounds like the people at Castle Arts needed you on their marketing team to be able to do this for them. Well, they have their own <clears throat> system. They do what they do. Anyway. So, uh, and then I also have, I think it was Fiber Castell and Koinor here. Will I use them? I don't know. I don't love these brands, but I thought these would be a great addition to the pastels. So I put them in here, you know. So that way I can have my strong colors, black, whites, and then... And how much pastels. was the entire kit of the Castle Arts set of pastels? Oh, sweetie, that one ain't that one. It's money. I don't know. I don't keep receipts. People it was, might be curious. It was not expensive. Okay, it was inexpensive. It's, Got it. Yes, they it was are like not... like 30-something? I think the whole order was 30-something. Maybe it was 60. I don't remember, because I also ordered... I haven't even opened it yet. I ordered this, Castle Arts 120 Gold Collection... Because you can never have too many colored pencils. Just in case so, you the know, world falls, falls into turmoil and all, you know, capitalistic ventures go under, we'll have enough colored pencils for the next 10 years. There was a sale. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now, if I hadn't fallen asleep on the couch like five minutes ago, I would have picked out some colors, but we can do that now. So basically, oh, ooh, you're a pretty boy. So we're going to pull out... Some pinkies for his cheekies. We're going to go with 10. Oh, geez. These are all... I need to see the numbers. We want 10. I do like that they're numbered. We'll pull out a 9 and 10. We'll say like 8 is very orangey. But... Are you doing an autumn theme? Nah. We'll say 5. I mean, I could add a little autumnalness to him. But I might go like 5 and... 12? No, that's those are just so off. You can tell Kim was really thought about it. Well, I was supposed <laughs> to get up here, but I fell asleep on the couch. Leave me alone. That's okay. He was dreaming about all the things to come. Actually, I could do 42 for the shading. Ugh. Rotate, rotate. Look, that's 42. I'm pretty good at this. Um, I love that you lined up all the logos to be facing up. <laughs> it was for the photo, and then I didn't even take the photo with, like, with it. the buff shot. Yeah, I was like, I don't care anymore. Uh... Yeah, so that's a good shadowy color. I think it's just I don't want him to go, I don't want him to be like so freaking pale. So I'm trying to like find a good like shadow, midtone, and like not even really a highlight, but I can go like 16. It's just like the darker ones lean towards a brown and the lighter ones lean towards more like a peachy orangey color. But so I might have to just go that route. I could do 16 to 6 and take that into... No, we're going to go 16, 7, take it into pinks. I'll do what I want. 7. Gosh, are they all like right here? No, that's 8 because I'm responsible. 16. Okay. We are just going to pull the colors out. You did it. I did something. So that's for his skin. So maybe I'll color his skin first. And then we'll pick out like, I think I want a blue sweater. Mm. I don't want to go too many different colors. But I do want to do like a darker, probably blue hair. Those are pretty colors. Like the blend that I did there. What colors were they? I don't know. Probably 31, 39, and 40. I could do that for his hair. Let's pull those colors I was looking at this swatch, by the way. 40... So he's talking about this one right here. 39 and what did I say? 30, 40. 31. Might be this <gasps> one. All right. Hair colors be done. I'm kind of weirded out that they didn't throw a white in here. That is weird. Because it's nice to like blend it out to the white of the paper. But can you just use a white from a different set? Yeah. I mean, they have close to white. They have like a pale, pale yellow. But see, this is why we added. Maybe you should just try to use it. No, because I want it to. I don't want it to go white. I don't want it oh, to okay. turn yellow like on his highlights. I'm just gonna use a Prismacolor white because it's just so much 
freaking easier to get. Maybe there's a white one in that giant set of 150 that you got. <laughs> there is. I mean, there's a white one in the fabric. Do you want me to pull it out? No. Oh, okay. Don't pull it out. Don't help me. Everyone calm down. We're going to start coloring. All right, let's go. It's only been 10 minutes. How's it? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Jenna well. says, how's everyone's weekend? Question mark. She's all moving along. All and right. Trisha says, hi, Jenna. Love the Halloween fabrics today. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see the dresses you're going to make. And then she put a wizard emoji. All right, I'm going to do above lighting because that's the easiest. I don't want to stress myself out. So we're creating a nice little shadow under his chin. Where's the piece you did earlier of the girl? Was that using these? No, I haven't used these yet. Oh, you haven't? used? You've only swatched with them? Correct. Swatch out, guys. Yeah. And give him a shadow under his nose. Everything's going to be very mid-tone, light, airy, so... Light, not... uplifting, inspirational, aspirational... What? <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> Never mind. Do a little under the lip. In other news, my glasses have broken, and so I had to use gaffer tape to, um, like, keep them together because super glue didn't work. What's and gaffer tape? It's like, gaffer tape's basically a tape that is kind of like a canvas lined. It tears like fabric, but they use it a lot to tape cords down, especially in the film industry, um, or to tape anything, honestly. Now, in the credits, when it says gaffer, is that the guy that would be doing the taping? No. Well, that's stupid. Anyway, I'm doing the shadows first, because I will be layering on top. Normally, like, if you see me color with uh, the Prismacolors, I don't do too much layering, because there's so many color options that, like, I just blend from one color to the next. But I don't really have that option with these, which is fine. I don't mind layering. It just takes a little bit longer. So, Kimball, I didn't know right off the top of my head what a gaffer is. Like, I know what they do, but I looked up a Wikipedia or, like, a backstage. Well, you know this definition. is going to be true. So, the primary responsibilities of a gaffer, spelled G-A-F-F-E-R, include figuring out the proper lighting placement, selecting and managing the electrical equipment and lighting instruments for each shot, including color ge gels and filters, running cables. So, I mean, probably they're using gaffer tape. Yeah. Um, overseeing a team of lighting technicians and maintaining safety. Sounds like they got a lot to do. There's a lot of safety hazards that can go wrong if you don't keep on top of it. Tripping, tripping hazards left and right. Ain't Head bumps. That the truth? All right, so we've laid in purple. It's not the darkest color that I picked out, but as I layer up on top of it, it should possibly get a little bit darker. I'm not familiar with these pencils. We'll find out. So this is the darkest skin tone I have. Apricot Twist, number 16. Jenna says, oh no, did you order new ones? What are you talking about? Your glasses? Oh, yes, I did. Sorry, Jenna. Um, I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> yes, um, I found them at Target. Um, originally, when I bought them, they were at Target in New York City when we were actually there in like 2017 or whatever it was, 2018, I don't remember. But um, they were 20 bucks just on one of those glasses shelves. And then I kind of, some of it hadn't rubbed off and it's called Screen Vision. So I just looked them up online and they're the same price. Ordered them from American Company and I ordered two pair. So hopefully they will get here and I'll be able to have my blue light glasses again. Oh, your dreams are coming true. So basically, I'm just going back over the purple with the darkest skin tone that I pulled out. Um, so it is, I mean, it's already hiding the purple, but it's creating a darker skin tone for the shadows. Also, when I, whenever I color like uh, boys, I usually don't give them pink lips because it translates to lipstick but i think in his case i will because i just need to actually get better at that because boys have pink lips too what is your goal for the are you going to try to finish um everything on the page or well i'm hoping to finish him and i have an idea for the stars in the background is it like you're going to do that offline and then post it later no well i don't know i mean if we end up going into an hour i'll be like okay bye y'all but um, I don't bottom, know. Bottom. Hopefully, I will be able to finish it all. Color pencils usually take me a long time, but the last color pencil piece I did was rather quick. I always think it's strange, like, whenever I... Because I was watching a lot of videos. Like, that's how I found out about the pastel tint color pencils. I just happened upon some videos because I was trying to see what other people were doing with color pencils out there and... Nobody really colored everyone like when they filled that ugh, when they 
filled out this. They just made it like a solid square of color, which that's fine. But uh, to me, I, I would rather see like the variations in the color. So that was kind of strange for me. I don't know. Do you guys like to color like a solid color or do you like to see the different variations when you swatch? Because like when I swatch even like in watercolors and stuff, you know, I blur those out into water, like blend them out into water. So I don't know why you wouldn't do it with colored pencils. It just doesn't make sense to me. Trisha says, then you must be the gaffer for Kimball's Corner, Rocky. Yeah. I mean, technically. I don't know if I'm watching out for safety, but. Well, there's this cord hanging right here. Well, at least it's not like a trip hazard. That is true. Just darkening up around his chubby little lips. And he's got some cheeks, but I don't want them to be too colored. I don't want to create like the little lip lines right there because that either looks like sagging skin or age. And he looks youthful. So it might look a little strange on him. All right, going up to the next color, which should warm up a lot of it. Actually, wait, I'm going to do, these colors are so similar. Give me my thingy, my bobs. This one's nine, and this one is ten. Nine I'll use for shading. Ten, we'll go for the pink cheeks. I'm going to add some, like, pink to his nose and cheeks. And I can always use a white paint pen if I decide to have a nice, bright highlight. Or if I end up covering the paper on accident. But I want to add the pink in first, so then I can add the skin tones over it. And it'll kind of push it back. So, Kimmel, have there been any interesting or amusing stories from as of late? Yes. I totally forgot about it until you just asked. Oh, uh, what? Um, so, we were walking home from Waitrose. And there was this woman. Waitrose she, is a grocery store here, if you're not familiar. Yes. There was a woman walking. She was a little bit older. And... Me being from America, I yelled out to her, hey, I like your pants. And she kind of stopped. And then she turned and she's all, what? And I was all, oh, I just, I was saying I really like your pants. And then she kind of stared. And then I realized what I was saying because, you know. <laughs> and so I kind of stopped and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, your trousers. And then she kind of smiled and like laughed. And she's like, so you're American, huh? <laughs> Where was she from? She was from Poland, I think. I don't know. I think it was Poland, but she's been having a rough life, apparently. She sails a boat. She has a long boat. And she... She was very excited by Stella Artois. What is it? What is Stella it? Artois. St what's that? How, is that what it's called? Yeah, the bottle. There was a, I mean, it was a... Like a, a beer cup. goblet or glass or whatever sitting on the ground. So she was very excited by that. So she picked that up. She's like, do I take it? And we're I'm like, like, you sure do. I'm like, I don't care. It's what, 8 o'clock in the morning and it's just sitting outside on the ground. You do what you want. But she was nice. We chatted for a little bit. She uh, seemed to have had a bad marriage, it sounded like. She told us never to get married and to just remain happy. And I was like, well, too late. <laughs> happy and married. But we weren't going to rub it in. I wasn't. I was just like, no, okay, bye. And then we left. I like when you first meet people and they tell you like something deeply intimate within the first like 10 seconds of knowing them. I get uncomfortable sometimes with that. Is what I do. But. Yeah. I'm not going to instantly, like, friend them on Facebook and keep in touch. It does happen to me often. Mm. Trisha says, oh, Campbell, what a faux pas. <laughs> I can't help it. You go 40 years saying pants. Just means jeans to me or denim or trousers in general. Are trousers just, like... Like, it's not a specific material or anything, right? It's just like, I just want to say they're just like pants, but I don't know. it's not, not accurate. It does. What's the benefit of coloring versus like drawing and coloring? Well, time. And I don't have to take my brain from one mindset to the next. Also, when I draw something that I know I'm going to color, I keep that in mind. More so when I do digital art. Because... Like, I don't have to fill something in with black ink. Like, I know I'm going to color, like, a dark version mm. of it or whatever, so. But in this case, it was just, I wanted to get to coloring right away because time, you know, I don't want to take forever to color something. I was just going to, like, sketch out stuff with colored pencils, but 
I don't know how they worked, like how they were going to work with whatever papers. Seems to be working all right with this paper, which is good. Jenna says, in the U.S., when someone says trousers, I think more professional dress pants. That's what I think. Yeah, same here, kind of, actually. Like, black slacks. Slacks. Do they even call them slacks here? I don't think. I don't think they do. Maybe. I don't know. Let us know, Trisha. <laughs> okay. Trisha says trousers are just like American pants. But, like, are they inter is it, like, interchangeable with jeans? Because, like, I can be like, I'm wearing a pair of jeans. I don't know. We're going to need an entire YouTube video about it, I think. No, I'm kind of already over it. It's fine. So how are they working so far? Good. It just feels like I'm putting down, like, a thousand layers. And I just, like, noticed as I was coloring this that, like, the nose isn't in between the eyes. like Slightly off. So, I mean, by, like, a centimeter. Mm -hmm. So... Look, she was in a hurry, okay? I made it more noticeable by the way I was coloring it. The problem with the pastel, not just these, but like any pastel, is that it's hard to get contrast. But I will get contrast. Oh, you will. By God, there will be contrast. Well, I mean, they have a dark blue and a darker purple. And I'm going to have to uh, just bring those into the game. Which one was this? Number 40. So that's really the only purple. Because, like, there's just not... Are you going pretty light-handed when you do the dark ones? Well, a little bit. But now I'm pushing a little bit harder because there's a buildup of, like, the wax. Mm. And I think these ones are wax, and then, like, the 150 bajillion ones over there are oil-based. Would be interesting to see how they work together. Or don't. No. I'm gonna use this mostly just for hard shadows. I feel like it's gonna give him like a I don't know, slightly scared vibe or something. Well, it's you know, Halloween's fast approaching. That is true. And he has antlers. That is true. Okay, going gently here. Trisha says, we used to use the word slacks um, for sort of casual wear. Jeans are denim jeans. All right. Well, the more you know. Thank you for the insight. We're learning something new about England every day. Well, I don't know about every da, da, da. day. Have I learned something new about England? What did I learn yesterday? It's hard to remember <laughs> so much. You learned that you don't want to go back to that museum. I don't want to go back to any museum. Oh, okay. What about the Natural History Museum? Trisha says you need to go. Yeah, but it doesn't mean... It's a dinosaur bone! It's a go. All right, oh, look, this is... Or an entire skeleton, rather. Skin tone down, yeah. I think. Good enough. I feel like he needs eyelids, so I'm just going to draw them in. I hope it's Camilla approved. Trisha says, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. When everyone say, whenever, whenever anybody says you're welcome, I instantly think of the lady from... Philadelphia? Yeah. I was going to say from, you know... When I ordered McDonald's. it... Uh, we've already told the story. Tried to order fizzy water. She's like, Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. And I was like, no, I was no. hoping to get fizzy water. And she's like, you're, you're welcome. welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Just a little bit on those cheeks. I don't want to give him five o'clock shadow. It's more so like there's some under light coming up. Okay, whatever. Crazy. All right. Probably done with the skin. Oh, I don't know where any of these go. Figure it out later. Uh, take the white, though. I'm going to just lightly do this. Can't tell, but I can that it's softening, blending, blurring the colors. How is the paper? It's good. Good stock. Is it pretty thick? Yeah. Although on one of the sheets I was looking at that I colored earlier, I realized like one of the products I use like bled through. I was like, whoops. 
Oh well. What was it? Ink or something? Uh, it was. Maybe it's not in this one. It was Jane Davenport, Mars Behind Twists. Mm. I mean, the picture turned out great. Just give a quick flip through, see if I can find it. There's so many things in here that I want to color now. Yeah, I think it's in a different book. But yeah, it kind of bled through. Probably because they have a little bit of an oil base to them or something. I don't know. Mm. Um, right. I think... Audi says, hi, pink hand wave. Hi. Oh, it's so drippy. Kimball's got his coffee here and it's condensing water on the outside. Condensating. Condensating. Condense. Condensing. <laughs> it's condensing. It's just getting sounds. smaller and smaller. It's compounding interest. All right. Don't fall over because that'll be a mess. Instant background. Okay, so I could do the background actually. What color was I gonna do? What do we got? What do we got? That's three. That'll work. Basically, I was just gonna color them dark, not dark, but solid around him, and then have him just fade away the further it got away. The one that got away. Which I guess I could do this off camera because this is like not the most exciting thing to watch. Have you learned anything interesting lately? Me? Yeah. Uh, I learned a little bit about our washing machine. Oh yes. I still don't know Do why. Tell. I still don't know why it smells though. I have cleaned it out with cleaning products recommended to me by you know millions of people on Amazon. Kim and I tried to find just white vinegar today, and we couldn't find it. I tried finding it at two different grocery stores now, and I there's no luck. So I might just have to order it. I guess I could find malt vinegar, white wine vinegar. But I just want the plain old feet smelling vinegar. <laughs> so we can spray it inside the tub and clean it out. But I mean, we took the drawer out, cleaned out that, unscrewed stuff on the bottom, cleaned out that. There wasn't even anything in there because we're very clean around these parts. We try. So, yeah, I was just like, why? Anyway, as I get to this one, I'll start lightening the pressure on the pencil. My new thing is I don't take warm showers anymore fool <laughs> i started it like two weeks ago three weeks ago i can't remember well you used to take like a normal like warm shower and then you would turn on freezing cold water at the yes end. so i was doing like i would take maybe 30 seconds or a minute of cold at the end of my showers and now i'm just like whatever i don't deserve hot water anymore More so coming. i take a cold shower it's very interesting is it or is it like god awful no it's fine it's totally it feels very exhilarating once i get out like i feel very energized and at the time, I don't stand like under the water the whole time. Like I, you know, I'll let it hit my feet and stuff at all. You so know. you're just wasting water is what you're saying? Well, it's better than wasting heat and water. Well, if it was hot, you'd be You're just wasting water. energy left and right, Kimball. I know. Look at this light. <laughs> Some say I'm crazy. Uh, I hope I can like, I don't know. Last night I was like breathing in freezing cold air and it like dried out my soft palate and it was very uncomfortable. Trish is all cold showers. Are you mad? Yes, he is. But she didn't put a question mark. So she's just basically saying I'm mad. Basically. She's not wrong. All right. Fading the little stars away. Fade away. Fade away. Fade away. Little Enya. Little Enya will do you good. Just a lady living in her castle with her cats. Reclusive. I want there to be like a feature film about Enya and like how she doesn't want people around, but then like something happens and someone gets in and it's like some weird situation. She's suddenly like a spy or something and has to escape the entire government. I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> with her cats. She's suddenly a spy with all that training she's been doing. I'd watch it. Wouldn't you watch it? Uh, I would watch something like it, but I can't imagine her being a spy. And somehow like Donna Lewis is in it and also... Um, What's the lady that did the... Uh... Yeah, I know you're talking about uh, Lorena McKinnon. Yes, yes. I mean... They all have to team up. Why not? When your voices combine... I'm going to start working on the script after this. That'll be a soundtrack I'd buy. All right, how are we doing? Are we fading out enough? Do you and you and call it good. No. One or two more down here. Mm. 
Okay. I thought you went from like super detail coloring to just like <laughs> get it done. Well, since it's yellow, you can just you don't have to fill it all in because your eye just sees yellow, so it like tricks it into thinking it's all there. Yeah, it does. Don't look too closely because then you'll know I'm lying. Mm. I might turn down the exposure just a bit because normally I have your stuff just slightly brighter, but I feel like it's making it hard to see how the colors actually look. So one second, everyone. Please hold for the next available something. something. Um, I'm going to start on the hair. I think I wanted to go to goes. blue. Everybody, is that better? Or did we like it better the other way? Well, I think you can actually see the colors a bit better now. So the whole thing might have a little bit of a dark approach, but... We are dealing with pastels after all. So since the shading under his hair, like right here, is like that purple tone, I decided to make the blue part that part, basically. So they didn't just blend right in. Um, in other news, I went to get a back massage. Oh my God. Uh, well, first of all, I was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna just see who does massage around the city where I live. So I started looking, Google it, mapping it, whatever. And I was like, oh, there's a place that has like 4.8 stars. Suddenly I'm gonna have to put on a PG-13. <laughs> so I find a place. I'm like, okay, I'll call and book an appointment. I was like, it won't be today. It'll have to probably be a couple days from now. Cause you can, I, I've never been able to get a same day appointment for massage ever. So I call and, um, nice lady answers the phone and she's like, okay. I was like, okay, okay well, what times do you have available? And she's like, now. <laughs> I was like, now she's like, yeah, you can come. What time do you want to come? I was like, uh, literally uh, what time do you have available? She's like, anytime. I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, I'll, I'll come in a half hour. So I walk over. The rates were really good. They had really good reviews. So I'm, of course, I like read all the reviews first. And they're like, oh, they really take care of you. Like they know what they're doing. Like really special place, all this stuff. And whatever her name is, is such a special lady, whatever. I don't know, whatever. So I was like, okay, great. Well, a lot of people have been there and I trust it now. So <laughs> I, I walk up to the place. I'm like, oh, this looks a little... Mm. I don't know. Like maybe they're just doing some construction in the hallway. So I walk up this staircase uh, around the corner and, you know, I was like, okay, hi, meet her. And I, originally I had booked like a, it was either a 90 minute or a two hour session. I don't remember. And when I got there, she's like, that's a long time. My hands are going to be really tired. And I was like, okay, well, what do you, how much do you, how much do you want to do? And she's like, maybe an hour. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So already off the bat, I was like, okay, that's interesting. Feeling good about it. So we, you know, maybe, so first of all, she's like, okay, go ahead and uh, lay on the table. And she kind of leaves the room or whatever, but there's no towel. Like normally you have to like, get undressed and put a towel over yourself. So I just keep my underwear on and like lay on the table. And I'm like, I guess she'll come in and put a towel on me, whatever. No, no. She comes in, rips my underwear off and like, it just starts going. I was like, okay. Um. Anyway, after about 40 minutes, I, I'm like face down on the board. And she said something about like, I don't even remember what she said exactly, but I was just like kind something of doing the thing, body or something. doing this the thing where you just agree because you don't know what they're saying. You're like, uh huh. And so you know, a couple minutes goes by. And she say, okay, um, roll over on your back or whatever. And I was like, okay. And I roll over, and she's completely naked. And I was like, what happened? <laughs> what has happened? I was like, no, 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 no. She's like, you don't want a happy ending. I was like, no. <laughs> No, I, and I was trying to tell her, I was like, first of all, ma'am, I am gay. Because I didn't want to like offend her. Like she was lovely, whatever. But I was like, she's just like smiling. I'm like, okay, what is you that? Guys, it takes a lot to shock me. Okay. This was one of those moments. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, needless to say, we finished that session up real quick. And I came home and was like, Kimball? You'll never guess what <laughs> happened at my session. And sadly, he still feels aches and pains. Yeah, well, and I was like, the whole time I was like, she's not really like doing a great job, like whatever. And then I was like, surely I read the wrong reviews for the place. So then I go back and I'm reading the reviews and suddenly it all made sense. Like they were all males. There was a lot of innuendo in the comment. I was like, okay, this is all making a lot of sense now. Like they were saying it without saying it. Yeah. Oh my God. I just, you guys never have I ever. 
And I would never. Never would have I, I never would have thought that would happen to me. Or like never thought someone would be like, you want a happy ending? <laughs> I'm like, to the movie I'm watching tonight, maybe. Oh my God. Well, that's why I don't go get massages. So yeah, anyway, then I went to the dentist a couple weeks later and I was telling them, uh, they were like talking about something. We were talking about massage and I was like, oh, by the way. Oh, because you were getting a screening on your neck or something. Yeah. Um, oh, she's like, you're really tight. They were talking about how tight my muscles were. And I was like, well, it's because I tried to get a massage, but it made me more tense in the end. <laughs> anyway, and this lady was like, oh my God, my husband and I booked appointment over there. I was like, yeah, we'll just maybe rethink it. <laughs> <laughs> they might be into it. You don't know. Well, she was like, oh no, that's definitely not what we want. Yeah, that's... I mean, whatever, to each his own. But I was just thinking, well, like, how, sure, many, but... how many guys could just go in and just get that, you know? Not me. So interesting. Fascinating. Well, the things in the world that we don't know about. Well, I mean, I know about it. I just don't experience it. I'm like, no, no. And then Kimball was like, well, if that ever happened to you with a guy, you would have to tell me immediately. I was like, I would never let it happen. Well, okay, that makes it sound like I was all, like, crazy. <laughs> I was like, no, I need to know the full details of the story. Like, I, I would laugh about it. I'm like, I am secure enough in our relationship. But it wouldn't. I mean. Trisha says, oh, Rocky, you are priceless. <laughs> well, it was at least, like, 40 pounds or 60 pounds. I don't remember. My, yeah, that's true. He got a half price discount because he only was there for half the time. No, I was there almost the whole time. I didn't, like take any of the money away i was like mm, it's fine oh i thought like since you didn't stay for the full two hours they were like you only have to pay this much no because it was after about 40 minutes or so for maybe 45 minutes she said something and then she went for another five minutes so i, I only missed out on like 10 minutes of the session whatever well i could have kept going but i was like a bit like okay i'm good <laughs> i feel so <laughs> much better i can just run out of Where'd here right your dress now. go <laughs> Can we just get that get back on immediately? Thanks. She was like ready to like jump on top of you and do that body to body massage or whatever it is. Yeah. Good times. Is it though? I'm spending a long time on these stars and I'm, I'm not sure why. Why not? I don't know. Don't how it. long has it been? Like three hours? It's been 37 minutes and four seconds. And I have like nothing to show for it. I, don't I know. Don't you want people to know that you can color an entire page in five minutes, Kimball? Yes. Color pencils, they do take a long time, but it is nice. Like, it's kind of stress-free because you do have a lot of control over it. You don't have to, like, worry about spilling water or ink or anything. Just your coffee. Just my coffee. I brought one with the lid on it. All right, stars. I can make them match his eyes. I don't want to give him orangey eyes, though. Orangey eyes. Uh, uh, what color eyes. eyes are you doing? Probably green, because I just see some greens here. And I thought, hey, let's give him some green eyes. Start with the dark one. Start at the top and just fade it down. And then bring in the bright. And finish it off. Although I'm not sure how she shaded these, what's supposed to happen in there, but whatever. Oh, my throat feels so scratchy. I feel like that should be a big highlight right there. So I'm gonna have to fix that on the other side. Hmm, what else has been going on, Rock? Just a lot of work. Well, okay, like fun things though. Oh, fun things. Well, um I don't know if I put these back correctly. I'm sorry. What is happening? Rootin' tootin' good time over there. I mean, we've been into London a few weekends in a row, which was fun. Was that was that what it was? Well, driving, listening, 17. That's we've gone out and had a few meals. But other than that, it's just been a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of work through um October, basically. Any memorable meals? Um any meal that I have at, well, actually, yes, we went to a place called, was it called Avocado something? Avocado show? Show. The Avocado show. I think it's a chain. But they had just beautiful display. Like any the, any dish they brought oh, up was just boy. beautifully laid out. Kimmel got like a little one that 
what was it? It was like had edamame and um, salmon and yeah, it was a poke bowl, a poke bowl, but they had like avocados lining it. Like it was the bowl. So it was like on a plate with all the stuff in, inside. Yeah. Basically like the rice was on the very bottom. Okay, it was like, show you a picture, but he's not grabbing his phone. So I'm just going <laughs> to, he's not going to show you. I and then I got awesome. avocado on, I don't know. It was like an av avocado burger with eggs and it was good. I loved it. Was it good? Did you love it? I loved it. I loved it. That's good. That's how we can ask for it. I'm going to just bring in some other colors, like blue colors into his hair. Because I want it to appear more solid. That's cute. I like that color. I'm trying not to like run my hand through the highlights in his eyes until that paint dries. Adi says, my dear, so many things I wanted to say. So, number one, I love your style. Oh, thank you. I mean, if you stop there, I'm fine with that. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what is your style, Kimball? How would you describe it? It really depends on what I'm doing. I kind of feel like I have a mixed... I mean, my, my stuff is easy to go, oh, that's a Kimball picture. But... Um... But like, what is it about it? But I mean, it's like I have a cartoon style. I have uh, a realistic style. It's like my shaded stuff. A lot of the Gibson girls. But it's like, to me, they all look different. I mean, I can definitely tell they're my style. Uh, but they all have like a different look to them, which I like. I was asking Kimmel the other day because he draws almost everything exclusively inside of a journal. And I was like, what stops you from just doing pieces on individual pages? And he was like, oh, I don't want to deal with all the loose paper. <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I don't have storage. And like, I mean, you guys have seen, like when I do show bits of my room, I just stick the paper in a file somewhere or in a drawer and I never see it again. Well, we could like hang them up everywhere. That's uh, what we need is more things, okay? I do love things. Um, let's do... Okay, we're going to take... The, oh, I was going to add some glowing orangey color to the hair, but I'm not going to. Trisha says, I liked your little birds this week. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, that was random. I was watching some video just popped up on YouTube, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And I was like, that's easy to do. So after I watched it the day before, like... The next day I went into our room and I was like, I can do this. She did a lot more. Like she did some oak leaves and she did like five birds on a branch. And she did it in like 20 minutes. I did mine. Well, I did mine about 20 minutes too, but I didn't do five birds. So it was fun. I was like, okay, I can try new things. Yeah, the birds were definitely a departure from what I normally do. I wonder how many people when they first saw that right away, like was like, that's Kimball's. Howdy says two. You are an inspiration to me. You make me step out of my comfort zone when painting people. I was always stuck using the usual skin colors. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, I do love to just create a face on top of color and see what colors actually come through. I need to start working on like darker skin tones. And it's like so much more difficult for me to like get my brain to shift to, I think it's just cause I do so many pale skin that like, I know like this, like what colors work for it. And they don't work the same with dark skin tones. Like it just washes out. So I tried, well, I've tried numerous times actually uh, using different colors, like uh, just darker versions of like pinks and purples and whatnot. And it's, it's not working right. So I need to figure out. You should just use some like either is. some stamps or like just do little like thumbnails until you get what you want instead of like doing a whole piece. Cause it might feel daunting. You know what? Okay, I Am do. I right, girls? Oh my God, yours is right. Just wanted to darken all this up. I need to darken up the bottom of the hair too. It's very light. Like the hair that's behind his ears. All right, we're going to take... So it's blue. We're going to put some orange over it. Because it can neutralize it. And it might turn darker. It might just turn ugly. It's turning ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of like it. That's actually kind of weird. Like the orange kind of pokes through. You probably can't tell, but whatever. I don't think I have like a dark color. So, oh, maybe this will work. 
just go through all the colors and be like, see, I did it. At a certain point, I'm assuming it starts turning like gray or like muddy. Well, yeah. But you know, we're not there yet. Now yeah. just, just adding a little bit of this because why not? Why not? Add some color up here. You know, I really want to add some yellow. It's going to take forever to put all these back. Uh, just putting it on the top parts of the highlight. Just because. Oh, that's cute. It adds a little bit of variation. Why are you smirking? I was just writing a friend of mine and she was saying, we'll be bonded like that forever. And I sent a gif of like Siamese twins and I put, don't laugh. Don't. Okay. I know who you're talking to. Somebody's getting married. At least that's who I think you're talking to. Yeah. I'm just going over with white. I mean, it's not smudging it too much, but it's softening it. I just, it feels weird not like blending anything into the white. Like the white of the paper, so. Do we have any Greek yogurt? Yeah. Oh, yum. I know what I'm having after this. Mm. Greek yogurt and granola. Nobody would have guessed. And a coffee. Well, so everything. What if I was like, I know what I'm having afterwards. Chocolate. Chai tea. Mmm, delish. I don't, okay, so browns. We're going with like a kind of a brown and maybe a little gold. How are these? You guys question. Tell me what you think about The me. pencil case on the right side of the screen, or maybe it's on the left side for you guys. I'm not sure. Is it? doing a little weird like line thing when he moves the table at all like does it move is it doing weird lines because it, it is on my screen but i don't know if it actually translates on your side yeah is it it's it the focus is like exactly on it is so it because like the texture of the background yes why wouldn't it be focused on this it is it's just it's a pretty um high f-stop so it's anything with you're like a high f stop inches of until you page want is going to be in focus all right we're going to use this color for some sh shadowing shading Shadow. And I'm gonna use gold. It's kind of a green gold, but I don't really have like browns. So whatever. Because brown's not a pastel. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it yeah, is. It is. Yeah. It's just combined. We don't even need full sentences anymore. I mean, I've stopped using sentences a long time ago. Shh. Shh. I mean, you don't have to totally shush. Wasn't... I was waiting for a really tantalizing conversation to spark up in the comments section so I could read it. Oh. Wasn't in love with uh, the collaboration with New Kids on the Block and 17. I feel like the... Just in case you, you know, were all aware of that. The DJ Mixer guy who did the song, like, he just completely auto-tuned their she, voices. We don't know. It's, his name was, like, DJ Max or something. I don't know. I was annoyed. I was like, dude, they're such good singers, and you've told I couldn't even understand what they were saying. That's like, just the vibe, Kimball K. Okay? Robot people. It was just I was so annoyed. I was like, why? Just why? because you know how good it could be doesn't mean he does. Audi says, so much distraction here. I want um I wanted so much to watch this live in real time because this book is one of my favorites, but I confess I am listening to you two like on a radio program. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> No well, worries. No worries. We're sorry. We do talk a lot. Well, I don't apologize for that because we're humans and we want to communicate with each other. And, you know, we're posting on YouTube. So it's kind of the thing to like talk to the people who are actually watching. That's kind of the coolest thing about doing this is being able to like talk in real time with people. Yeah, true. Edward says, hi, Rocky. Hi, Kimball and Rocky. It's me, Eddie Bon Bon. Sorry, oh, I'm late. Eddie. what have I missed? What has Bon Bon missed? Dude, you have missed, like, everything, okay? You missed this. You missed some of that. Can't really miss You can't really miss anything. We're just coloring. He's got a new set of Castle Arts. Pastel tint. Pastel tin Colored pencils. Which are, we think are wax-based. And this so how are they comparing is Prismacolor. To, how, are, how are they comparing to Prismacolor now that you're actually using them? Uh, well, I definitely like Prismas better. Okay. Like they just lay down nicer and they blend a lot nicer. But again, I was saying like with the pigment load, it's really hard to like do a ton of pigment and get like a wow factor with pastels. Right. I mean, this but is I mean, a really cool set though. Like but, I don't know if you have all these colors in Prismacolor. Right. You? It's a great addition. But yeah. also once they start coming together and I start building them up, they start looking better on the page. 
because you can see them. But like, I mean, I don't have a darker green to like make his eyes darker. So, you know, you can try other colors. And if you're not terribly comfortable with mixing, it might be a little more difficult. But I mean, also, I mean, you don't have to stick with just the pastel tints. You can mix them with any of your colored pencils. I'm just doing pastel tint right now. The cool thing about just choosing new. a few colors, though, is like you kind of have to mix them to get what you want, and you might get some interesting results. Right, but not everybody's comfortable doing that. Right, well, just get comfortable with it then. Just get comfy. I've had a little just yellow. shut up and get comfortable with that. <laughs> shut up. I've been watching too much World of Extra with Stan. All right, shirt color. Pink. Pink? Yeah. Hmm. But not like skin tone pink, like pink. Pink. Ooh, I could do pink, orange, and yellow. Those are yes. pretty. Yes. This is what he's talking about here, by the way. So this is what he's talking about. I don't remember what colors I used, but it looks like those two would look nice together. Well, here, use orange. that. I didn't write the numbers down, though. You fool! I know. I've used almost every freaking color in this set, though. Okay. Cool hair, warm shirt. Why not? Although the stars are going to be yellow. Maybe I'll leave them white. And I'll have like a white collar or something. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I want to do like purple and fade it in. Or like pinks on the edges, then oranges, then yellow in the middle. Do it pink at the bottom, fading up to that color. Maybe. Or vice versa. But like... I feel like it would be down here, so it's like, you know, it's not... Uh, maybe do it from the top down, then. Okay, so you want pink on the top? Yeah. You... Okay. Because gonna... then it'll be a more contrast against this. I'm going to turn it that way just a little and bit. And maybe the little collar is a different color. Yeah, well, it'll probably be like... Maybe I could... Uh, I don't know. Well, do, I'll do, do it like from the yellow this pink down, down, and then do yellow color. Is this, that... is this that pink? I think it is. Yeah. And then what's this color? Pretty sure this is that yellow. And then what's this color? I'm pretty sure that's that orange. Perfect. On you go. Yeah. Because they just look like they would go together. So we'll start off a little heavy-handed with the pink and then fade it down. It's always annoying having to, like, work around shapes when you're doing a gradient. Add the pressure when you get back up. Yeah, I'll probably bring it down to about here. straight across. Audi says, I like this layout with the pencils, but I wish I could see a little more near. And then put, no, I'm wrong. I only need to open my fold. Sorry. Oh, is it one of the fold, like folding phones? Oh, probably. I you were about what does it mean? What does it mean? All right. Then we'll start blending out just gonna, uh, this color. What? A little more near. Oh. I just zoomed it in a bit. Gotcha. Just going to blend out from where I stopped with the heart or with the like pressure. It's too much pressure. Have it fade down because then we're going to just lay over that with the orange. Make it a shirt you'd want to have when you're done with it. I already want it. I want it all. I love the new sweater I got, but like I need time to wear it. What? what like, does that even mean? Like it needs to be like the right temperature outside because it's. It's not very. Hot thick. Though, is it? It's, it's like so thin that like air just blows right through it. So it's got to be like a very specific temperature. It's basically got to be like what between like 60 and 70. Yeah, but like not windy. Okay. Or shady. No more than 20% pre precipitation. Yeah. All right. So now that I've done that, we're going to go to the orange color. We're going to kind of start light here and kind of start putting pressure on. I know you're going in a semicircle type of a thing. Yes. We just start building the pressure in here. What is with the semicircle thing? Is that just like how you do it? Just it's easier to hide the lines, like the hat. Like otherwise, oh, you, you well. might see stroke streaks. Like I'm not too familiar with these pencils or this paper, so I'm playing it safe. And we're gonna work this color down. <gasps> Ooh, Audi has a folding phone. What are they like? Well, it's like a phone. Life is so exciting now. Folds. Oh my god, a flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> I love Romy and Michelle. All right, so now we bring this down. We just make it an orange. And we're going to kind of do the, just the same thing we did with the pink, basically. Fade it out now. I mean, I made this fade really short, but it could be like that fuzzy stripe, those like fuzzy striped shirts, you know? 
It could be. It's like but a, it's not. You don't know. We're not going to see the bottom. Colors. Colors. You got that? I'm just trying to fill the silence. Enjoy the silence. Someone must always be talking, Kimball. That's not true. No, it is. You can have no silence. It's so funny because so many people in my family are so good at telling stories. Like my sister is so good at just like outing a story. Like if something could happen during the day, she can recall and tell the story very well. I am so not that way. Yeah, but she embellishes a little bit. Okay. Well, I tell stories in different ways. Like I can tell stories like with things I've filmed. I can edit stories. I can like write music. It's a different type of thing, but it takes me time to craft it. Well, now that I've got to the bottom of <laughs> well, now that I got to the bottom of this, we're gonna fade it out. Because then we'll bring in the yellow. Jenna says, Noah just saw me film my before transitions for reels TikTok and was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I would believe that. Some of the, like, it's so funny watching some of the people filming their TikToks. I'm like, what is happening? And then you see him put it all together. I'm like, that is magic. Bonbon bon says, this is the best background video to have while I'm tidying up my room. Also, I just followed you on Instagram. Oh, thank you. You got a little follow. I feel like we should have a sound every time you get followed. Like, maybe it's like... Well, you're in charge of that. Keep that Or maybe it's nearby. just the sound of my, my chair moving after it's been sitting for a minute. Like That didn't work. Dang it. Maybe it's just the sound of the spinning. Why did it sound like a jet or something? Like, kind of did. That's every time you get a follow. It's like powering down. <laughs> All right. Now we go into yellow. So we start with a little bit of pressure up here. Yellow. Strong pressure as we bring it Is down. Is that the same yellow from the stars? Yeah. Oh, my stars. And garters. I can basically just fill this in solid yellow. That's oh, so cute. I gonna, love this little fade. I'm not going to really fade that. I feel like this could be a Jenna hairstyle. I feel like this was a Jenna hairstyle. Probably was. <laughs> My arm might be getting tired. I do realize I am working a lot more with these than I do with Prisma colors because Prisma colors I can color for hours, and like I don't feel anything. I never have wrist problems or anything. Oh well, you're just bragging now. I know. All right, I feel like I could bring the pink down. Jenna says, this is why I do it, usually do it when he's not home. I like making them, but I don't want people to see me. Don't look at me! <laughs> I feel that. It's like when Kimball and I vlogged in the past or whatever, I just like out my phone wherever. I don't Oops. care what's happening. Kimball's like, not right now. Well, I mean, it kind of depends. I've definitely gotten more used to it. But I mean, if we're like, I don't know, in a place where they're like, don't film. I'm like, okay, I won't. I'm like, well, I won't while you're watching me. Basically. It's the first time I'm sharpening. Okay, so they're kind of slick to sharpen. I do like it when the paint is like more. matte or if it has like an hex Especially hexagonal. if you've got sweaty fingers. Yeah, so nervous. Are your fingers sweaty? No. Sweaty regretty. Just giving him a nice yellowy orange collar thingamabob. Jenna says, I want pictures in a pumpkin patch, but also don't want to take pictures in public, so it's probably <laughs> not going to happen. No. Just do it! Do it, do it. You're never going to see these people again. You know what your cage is? Other people's, people's eyes. eyes. Yeah. We want from AppFab. It sure is. When um, Adina takes her daughter Sophie to Paris and convinces her to get her tits out on the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And then she basically spins her around as a photographer there from some magazine. Yeah, she they were gonna do like <laughs> in a magazine interview and she like made them go up there oh, to God. I was like, oh my god, that is so evil. Oh well. And her daughter's like a total bookworm, like doesn't ever do anything. She's like a very that. much. So, so it's like it was a very shoes. big moment for her to actually do that. And her mom totally betrayed her trust. So awful. And in the end of the episode, she's like, Maxim's called, they want exclusive or whatever. <laughs> yeah. 
We'll just go in with this blue. It's mostly like a white shirt, but yeah. I'm assuming this is like a safety pin, but we're just gonna get a little shadow underneath. I'm not really gonna color it in because it's already gray. It's gonna 59 minutes, 40 seconds. We're almost done. You got 20 seconds to finish, Kimball. Uh, oh, oh. You need your fine white paint pen out. And do what with it? I don't even know, but that's how I know the episode's almost over. The only thing I don't like are the antlers, really. And I don't know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? I could break into the fiber cast dowels. But you've done all this work. Add pink to them. I could add pinks to like the Pinks tips. would be cute. Pinks? Pinks. Because then you got the like sweater down below. You got the antlers up above. It's a magical thing. Just go with it, Camel. It's colors. All right. There was white in here, so it's turning out very pastel. He says it's so relaxing seeing the painting blending. It's like poem being written in real time. Mm. That statement was like a poem being said in real time. True. Um, and you just, got me yelling in the background. Yeah. It's You're like a yelling. loud, annoying poem. <laughs> <laughs> just going to bring in this color and make it work. It just needed some depth to it, it was all. I think the gold was like a little too greenish yellow, which was kind of throwing me off. What if you did like the deep, deep purple in there? What if I did? What if you did? I mean, I can try adding it. It's going to be pretty similar to this. I just don't want it to be too strong of a color. Like this one's blending in with the, whatever the yellow pretty well. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I might just go in with this brighter yellow and do like you say and make it more along the lines of a mm -hmm. shirt. Just embrace the yellow pinkiness. And then bring in the orange, which needs to sharpen soon, but not just yet. He really coordinated his outfit with his antlers today. Well, yeah. It's like when I wear my shoes and a jacket, they got to look nice together. I think that's okay. Hmm. What if you did like outer stars coming inward in the pink or like the auburn? So the stars were kind of like reflecting like his shirt does. <sighs> I mean, I could do some orangey ones and then pink at the top. That'd be fun. All right. Now I got to sharpen a pencil. Oh, oh God. You and your ideas. Oh, ASMR, everyone. Pencil. <laughs> <laughs> if only the camera was on your face. I know. Then we'd have a beautiful visual to go with it. <laughs> I'm sick. All right, adding some orange. We'll just do the same idea. We'll keep it. Oh, well, there's not really any. There's one hidden back here. <gasps> what? Nothing. One hidden here. One hidden here. We can kind of just combine. This one was slightly yellow, so we'll just lightly go over with orange, combine the colors. And do like a pale orange up here. Don't tell me what to do. This one will probably have some pink in it, maybe. Paint that poem. I wish I was actually good at adding words and stuff to my art. What do you mean? Well, like a lot of people incorporate like words or journaling in their art together and Live every time love. no 
But whenever I do it, it looks really forced. So I'm just like, eh. Of course, people might think that of their own stuff too, but yeah. Do really pale orange this way, fading out to nothing. So pale you can't see it. I can see it. This will probably have a pink overlay. <laughs> It'd be funny if you just did an hour long, like where you were just like pretended to be doing something, but you couldn't, you weren't actually doing anything. Would that be funny? I think so. This is going to blend in with the other stars. Oh, my stars. So it's going to blend in with the antlers when I add the pink. Which needs, well, I could probably get away without sharpening it. Uh, pink in here. Pink. Shh. I know. I think those are really the only solid pinks and the other ones can start fading. I could also just use, I have a lighter pink, I could just use that to fade it, but just use lighter pressure. Nicely faded. And then paint the whole background turquoise. Okay. Cut to three hours later. I still think it's just amazing that like people will do lives for like 12 hours and people hang around and watch. Like while they get up and like use the restroom sometimes with their mics on. Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> it just blows my mind. It's a whole industry. Got I feel like Twitch. I always feel like I need to rush. I feel like people would just get so bored watching me work on artwork. I mean, I could definitely color longer and stuff, but I mean, not today. A little under the weather. <laughs> okay, this needs to add a few more. We should watch some Waikiki Wonderland or whatever. Welcome to Waikiki, I think is what it's called. On Netflix, it's hilarious. I know. Who needs to work on me? Oh, are you going to work? I don't know. You were going to have like that coffee and that yogurt and stuff. I know. You have all the rest of your life to work. I know, but I'm going to shoot Zoe. Ah, shoot. Wait, do that one. Where was it? I just saw it Where, over here. This one. This one needs okay, it. Let me move. There we go. Thank you. No, you're welcome. I was going to add some like yellow... Yes, queen. Very lightly to some of these ones that come up here because I didn't bring the yellow up at all. My eyes are like going wonky. <laughs> okay. All right, what are we thinking? Just a little, little white paint then. It's been dripping a lot, so I'm kind of scared. Okay, well. Oh, now he's sad. Oh, he's got tears in his eyes. He's got a good, good moisture up there. Give them some little cheeky highlights. Probably should have done that a little better, but that's fine. And then I was gonna highlight on top of this just to show that it goes in the front. And I guess that's probably it. Mm. Bon Bon says, I love it, absolutely stunning. Another oh, great masterpiece. Thank you, darling. Ooh. Thank you, Dustin. <laughs> My eyes are so tired. I'm just making that little safety pin pop out a little bit more. And maybe he's done. Oh my word. I didn't even finish my coffee. Well, take a couple sips. Okay. As I change the settings on the camera so I can bring it down. 
No oh, man, I need to figure out where all my pencils go. There's one. All right, let's bring the camera on down. Whoop! Bring it on down. There we are. There's the man of the hour. Literally. Of the hour. I mean, it has been an hour and eight minutes or something. Well, you know, I'm putting stuff away because I'm a good person. Am I? Though? Uh, my eyes are like, what have you done? Did you go in there? I'll do it later. Good job, Campbell. Hey, Let's everybody. see it. We did it. We did it. Pasta. Oh, Campbell. Yeah. Another one for the fridge, for the books. Good job. My eyes are so tired. <laughs> Where are you? Don't I look good for being slightly You look Ill? so good, Kimball, for being 41. 41. Until next month. And then you'll be 42. <laughs> Trisha says, sensational. Oh, and then Ali says, in Portuguese, we say, muito lindo. Muito lindo? Did you say that correctly? I doubt it, but it sounded good to me. Muito <laughs> lindo. Wow, well, no. Just, mm, it's close enough. I'm just going to keep saying it. <laughs> well, I think. Thank you. Good job. So what else you want to talk about besides your Starbucks reusable cup over there? Well, not much. I think I'm just going to go relax and uh, just feel kind of stuffy. Head massage. I mean, looking down does not help when you have a cold. Mm. Oh. Have you tried doing a headstand? No, I just want to like look at... Uh, found a dead spider carcass over there. That was gross. That and there was thumbnail. a bug carcass downstairs. And there was like one, I was closing the attic window because we had like a really windy rainstorm. And I was like, some of the like, drops got in. So I just took a talon kind of dab at the edge and the spider carcass like fell. It's all <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Poor Edmund. I'm fine though. Everything's fine. Cut myself with a knife this week. Oh my gosh. I was scrubbing. How did you even get through the days? Slipped off and whoop. I was surprised Rocky was able to bandage it. There's blood everywhere. Not really. It wasn't hardly blood at all. But what else did we do? I don't. We do so much, <clears throat> and then I just, I have no idea. It's because you need to make your little list, Kimball. You need to write things down. Well, you these are very slippery. You, you need to write list. things down, and then just erase them when you're done. Um, Two people, like I said last week, like, it's so bizarre that, like, these actors and, like, YouTubers and singers and all these people that I, like, watch are showing up in London. I'm like, <laughs> Well, the weird thing is we went to the museum and then we were this guy we started watching on YouTube was there the same morning. Yeah. I was like, how did we not see him there? Because there were six billion people in there. So weird. And then another guy from like when we used to, well, we still watch Ty BLs, but like he was from one of the first Ty BLs that we watched. His name is Bright. And he was at the Natural History Museum, I think, today or yesterday. I'm like, what? How are you here? And then these people just keep posting pictures with like the Tower Bridge in the background or Big Ben. I'm like, I want to meet you and I'm never going to get the chance. What would you even say if you met one of them though? I just want to say hi and just thank them for their hard work and entertaining me Thanks for, for being attractive. <laughs> thank you for being so pretty. <laughs> Appreciate that. All right. Well, All right. <sighs> yeah, we got to go. Well, I got to go because falling apart. All right. Well, sign off music for the little boy in pink. Mm. I'm a little boy in pink. Sometimes I don't wipe so well and it stinks. But that's the problem for my mother. Skid marks like no other. <laughs> Stinky smells. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs>